Hi, I'm Mr. Drabi and I create car video content like this one. And like this one. And uh, today we are gonna make car ghost effect with that super crazy fast movement behind the car. Before we start, make sure you subscribe my channel, like that video, of course if you like that video and comment. To begin, like usual, we need pre-edited clip, that effect we'll make in After Effects and uh, let's create a new project, import our footage, after you import make sure you save and name your project, because it's easy to forget about the saving the project and After Effects sometimes crashes and uh, to avoid working again just make it as a first step always when you import your footage. Ctrl S to save it, let's save it as LS400 Ghost Effect. After saving, let's create composition, press uh, right uh, mouse button to create the composition. If you have uh, turned on caps lock, make sure to click it to disable it and After Effects will refresh your uh, preview. Uh, next step is to duplicate that layer, Command D or Ctrl D to duplicate it. We, will we are making the music layer, let's label it to the green, disable the visibility and lock it. And disable on the first layer the audio. I'm making that step because when you are uh, duplicating layers, the audio is stacking over and over and over. and. Uh, it's easy to forget when you are rendering the final clip or watching the previews of your work, the volume is super high, so better to make that step in the beginning to not thinking in the future. <laughs> okay, so we are prepared to work. Default shortcuts in After Effects is uh, for the moving one frame forward and backward is uh, page up and page down. I changed it to Q and W to move one frame forward and one frame backward. It's a Q and W and also if you press Shift and W you are moving 10 frames forward. Also keep in mind that I'm using mostly shortcuts on my mm, tutorials. That's why I'm showing you on the on my screen uh, the shortcuts so you can uh, follow through my workflow. Let's start with making uh, our effect. To make it we have to find the proper place to make that ghost effect. We'll start with the beginning of the clip to, to make good impression of the most important seconds of the reel to enhance the interest of video. If I'm pronouncing it right, <laughs> I hope that you'll understand me correctly. And let's um, firstly let's cut and duplicate our layer, and let's go cut it on the first frame of the next shot, which uh, you are cutting. It's a uh, Command Shift D to cut and duplicate it. And the basic of the basics of the all effects is to roto brush our subject to mask out our car from the background. And let's duplicate our layer and to make that ghost effect we're gonna create three layers. The first layer will be the background, the second layer will be the layer with the effect and the third layer will be our roto brushed car. The second layer is also our roto brushed car but with the effect. You will like see well, what we're gonna do in a, in a tutorial. Okay, so let's reveal our layer, double click on the layer with the tilde enlarge our working space right now and click that little guy with the brush, click that and a comma to zoom or zoom out the working area and just press and brush all around the car and you see that violet stroke around the car. This is our effect, it's the beginning, but after we go further, let's small that working area, choose the effect controls on, on our layer and choose the quality of the roto brush to the best. The best setting is making the roto brush working better and more accurately. Okay, so let's go back and enlarge it with the tilde and just zoom in. Oh, as you can see, we have no full resolution and when you are masking, when you are making roto brush, make sure always to have full resolution. Oh, so we have already the full resolution, <laughs> but we are zooming so closely that I thought we don't have the full resolution, but keep in mind to always 
mask and rotor brush with the full resolution. Okay, so let's go and just drag the brush around the edge of the car if there is something which is which is not the car in our case just press the alt to delete it like this one the brush is making a red and we have a minus as you can see we have a very shattered and uh, unregular uh, selection but if we go one frame forward w or page up in the standard keyboard shortcuts you can see that in the next frame when the water brush is working the whole selection is smoothing and we have to just go through the all of our rotor brushed effect and check if uh, the selection is made properly Okay, we are done with the rotor brush and let's exit from the full screen, just click tilde and uh, click the decontaminate edge colors. It's hard word, but every tutorial I'm learning how to pronounce it. This checkbox deleting background color from our subject. And another thing is to make, to reduce the chatter it's smoothing around the, the edge, make it 25. And another important thing, when you are finished with the settings with your rotor brush, go back to the working area and uh, always, always remember to freeze the rotor brush effect. If you not freezing the rotor brush effect, every time you go through the footage, the rotor brush will be recalculating and uh, just crashing your mask. So press the freeze, take your time, take time for the computer to rotor brush it. Rotor brush is freezed and let's exit from here. And now we are gonna make the ghost effect and just duplicate our layer, command D to duplicate that layer and just go to the layer between the background. Let's label our layer. There are two ways to add effects in After Effects. The regular slow way is to type here on the effect preset offset and you can choose offset and drag it. But I recommend you guys to download the FX console from the video copilot. I'm leaving the link on my description. It uh, making adding the effect and working in After Effects a way, way, way easier. You just press control space and here you have uh, the small console when you can just type offset effect, press enter and here, here we are uh, with the effect. To make the car ghost effect, just add the offset uh, effect to it and make the um, animation on the value of the shift center. Just press the stopwatch and drag it until the end and just multiply, multiply the position by times nine. Um, and as you can see, just right from the start, when you play the preview, we see that the car is moving, but it is not, it's not the ghost yet. Let's make it more faster. It's not moving so fast that I want to. So maybe we'll just crank up the value and value, but let's go back with the 540 and just multiply it by 15. And as you can see, there's super fast motion. Let's easy ease those keyframes and add faster Mm, movement from the beginning. If you are not seeing the speed graph, just press the right um, mouse button and choose the edit speed graph from the list right here. And okay, but it's not looking like the ghost yet. To spicy up that effect, we have to add um, the blur. And that blur um, right here, as you can see, we have I have turned on the motion blur effect on my layer, but it's not working with the effects. It's only applying to the keyframes of the position or scale. So we have, uh, we can disable it and add the effect directional blur, directional blur, and crank up the blur length and make the direction 90 degrees. So it's the same movement as our our animation and as you can see just from the start it's looking 
very 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 good but i think it's not as fast as i want to be so let's make it a little bit faster and just crank up the position and let's make it 21 yes go crazy with that number and as you can see it's looking very very good right now and this is how to make the car ghost effect if you want to make it like more 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 unique you can just you can crank up the the motion blur go crazy with the numbers or maybe 150 and it's more as you can see ghosty looking and it is uh, like better than the before okay without any further ado let's jump to the final video Okay, and how was it? Was it good? If you liked that video, please leave a like, comment. I hope that video helped you and you learned something new. Thank you. Bye-bye.